Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick preview to today's Reading Royals game after a nice win. We're playing the Worcester Railroads again, this time away, as now our Reading Royals are 10 6 and 4 in 21 games played. Everyone else in division has games on us, as we're only one point behind Maine and Anirondack, who Maine has 26 games, only are 21, so being one point behind them is great. And then Anirondack has two more games. Um, rather than R21, so having one point behind them is also very good, and Trevor Vier has three more games, uh, but we're, uh, well, we're only 29 to 25, the only team we're a bit behind is Newfoundland at 32 to 25, so the division's not that spaced out right now, and if the Reading Royals can keep going on a run, they can be in a good spot, where the Wooster Railers in their division... They are in last place at 8 and 13 behind us. And that is in one additional game played. They are well behind everybody else in the division at 17 points. They're actually the only team in our division that does not have 20 points. So this division as a whole, the North Division, um, in the ECHL with Newfoundland, Trois Rivières, Anirondack, Maine, Wooster, and us, has been a mighty competitive division. Minus this is the team just as the Royals were able to battle through and do. They can be a scrappy competitive, kind of like a Kraken level, to compare them to an NHL team for my also NHL fan, that can be scrappy and play like good within a game with you, but you should be able to figure out a way to beat this team, is basically what I'm saying. And that's my key to this game. That's what they did at home. Uh, they were a scrappy competitive team, the Wooster Railers, but they figured out a way to beat them. That's what you got to do on the road. This team finds ways to lose the Wooster Railers, where the Reading Royals are a team just like the rest of the division thus far that have tended to always find ways to win. Minus um, <clears throat> Maine is more at the 500 mark and only ahead because of games at hand. But the rest of the division with 20 the points really technically has found ways to win. And Maine is a good team, but they're kind of the team that's still at the are they going to go here, or are they going to go here category, where the rest of the team seem like already a couple games above 500, trending upward, Maine's that team that's trending upward, but not at the same t quick tick, basically. But today, the keys to this game is goaltending yet again, as it always is. You're going to need very good goaltending in net in any game, so that's the first key. The second key is, again, just find a way. This team's going to be scrappy competitive, but they're not a good team. They're the worst team in the division for a reason. you got to find a way to beat them again. you got to be aggressive at the neutral zone. you got to jam the neutral zone again. you got to set a tempo early, and then you got to pounce when you have the opportunity to pounce just like the Reading Royals did last game, and they will beat these Rooster Railers yet again, because you have no excuse <clears throat> to lose to the Rooster Railers that are by far the last place team in the division. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Reading Royals and Rooster Railers. As they're playing them away, it's going to be interesting to see where Pat and Dylan are calling the games. There's a bunch of teddy bears in Dylan's office, but they're playing them away. Let's see what they can do today. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy your new year. Continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. Peace out, everybody.